Welcome. The restorative posture that we'll be practicing is left side lying Shavasana. And so you'll need somewhere that's soft to lie down on your side, right? That means if that you have a little bit more of kind of a, a bony hip joint or something that's painful, this may or may not be the right posture for you. Alternatively, you could select a blanket or a little bit of a of a cushier place, maybe a bed, although it's really nice to be on the floor so that this is not considered sleep, right? You might also put a couple blankets underneath you to give you a little bit more cushion. You'll also need a blanket to go in between your legs, a head support, which could be two stacked blankets. It could be a very firm pillow or cushion or bolster. And then you'll need one other bolster-like prop so that your top arm, in this case your right arm, will have something to lie on. And so to set up, first ensure your head prop. And so you may lie down and test out your stack of blankets a couple times, or you may find that your couch cushion that you pulled off onto the floor isn't quite enough and you may need another blanket. And so find where you can lie on your left side and your head is not dipping down towards the floor nor being pushed up towards the ceiling. It's neutral. Once you have that, You'll open one blanket from the Tadasana shape and fold it lengthwise so that it can rest between your knee and your ankle to provide some cushion. Have your bolster for your arm support ready. Go ahead, lie down on your left, allowing your head to rest on your head support and bringing your knees bent and a little bit forward and up to give your hips some stability so that they can relax. Slide your left arm forward so that you're almost resting, not on the side of your shoulder joint, but more on sort of the back side of your left rib cage. And then draw your bolster toward you and arrange it so that you can rest your right arm gently on top of that bolster and it's not pushing down on your bottom arm or creating any discomfort anywhere else. You may have to play around with this a little bit and each bolster or cushion that you may use may provide something slightly different. And so with whatever you have, find a place where you feel very comfortable and can be here for 15 minutes. Allow the eyes to close or let them be very soft and gently opened. Take a few breaths, noticing how it feels to lie on the left side of your body. Small things that are irritating now may grow into bigger irritants over the course of the 15 minute rest. And so if you need to pause the video and make some adjustments, please take the time and do so. It's more important for you to be comfortable than for you to endure something that may not actually suit your nervous system. And then allow the breath to be easy. No need to lengthen the breath. No need to make it something that it's not. and rest.
bring your attention back to your breath. As you lie on your left side, allow the breath to encourage the belly to move forward and back as you inhale and exhale. With your top hand, slide your arm support away from you so that it gives you some space. Press your right hand down into the floor to assist you to come up to sit. And sit in a comfortable position, maybe selecting a prop that you are using to sit on top of to elevate your pelvis. Stack your head over your rib cage, over your pelvis so that you find integrity of your alignment. Join the hands together at the chest center prayer position or Anjali Mudra. Bow the face down towards the fingertips. Act of gratitude for taking time to rest. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from suffering. May all beings be safe. Namaste.